so excited because I finally got my new camera and I made you guys a promise that I was going to start back vlogging and I finally picked the camera up and I'm excited and y'all can see I'm just glowing right now because over a camera it's an investment for me because I was like I really want to start back vlogging a lot of y'all came to my channel from me and babe's channel and so I was like I really just want to as far as like more girly stuff that women can watch and relate to mommies wives you know whatever friends and i'm just i'm excited y'all i'm just really excited i really got it too because the old camera my sony alpha camera it was just so big and so heavy i mainly used it for my photography but i started using it for vlogging because the quality is just insane but um i mainly started using it for vlogging and the quality was just crazy, but it just didn't flip towards the front for me to be able to see myself. And that was kind of, you know, frustrating because, you know, we want to see what we look like when we're talking. <laughs> so, um, long story short, I invested in the camera. I said, baby, I'm about to start vlogging for y'all. About to give y'all some um, organic, real life, natural content. Maya being Maya. And I hope y'all really just enjoy this content. Before we go deep into that, I did, um, I tried, y'all know we're leasing right now. We're renting, we're renting right now. And I know we're gonna be moving, but uh-oh, I wanted to fix this bathroom up. So I'm gonna insert some clips of me trying to fix this bathroom up. It only has a shower, which I don't like. But, I mean, that's okay. But I just wanted to kind of fix it up some. I mainly fix it up too because of brands. I've been filming with some new brands and stuff. And, you know, I wanted it to look nicer. That was another reason why I did it. This is what the bathroom looks like. Is his and hers. I know we're just here temporarily. I still want to make the bathroom look a little bit cozy. And it's just been bothering me that I haven't done anything to this bathroom. So we got the curtains up. I think that looks so good. Well, I've been having this plant for such a long time. Also this vase. Um, I never put anything in this vase. I actually just transferred um, these to this vase from this one. But I didn't know if this one goes with the bathroom. But y'all can drop a comment and let me know if I should keep this one or the black. I like the black because of the blackout curtains. Did stop at my favorite store. I didn't spend that much, but I did get was this wooden tray. Y'all like it? It's like 12 bucks. So I got this um, to put right here in the middle. I forgot what I got. This stuff has. Oh, okay. So I also got this two brush holder. It's like wood. It's like a matte black. It's so cute. But I thought this would go good for our toothbrushes and toothpaste. I got some more jars here. This is for like floss or Q-tips, etc. I wanna use that for. I also got this piece from Home Goods, like a knot, I believe that's what it's called. Most people use it for like um, their um, books on their bookshelves and things like that. So I did find this, I thought this was cute. And I have this other jar for again, more toothpicks cotton balls, etc. So, and I have that. You know what? I probably should have waited to clean these because I need to get the paper off the bottom. I, I hate paper at the bottom of glasses. It's just not cute. Got the paper off. It looks much better. These are kind of tall, 
Maybe I should have got a shorter one, but I mean, it's fine. Um, floss that we use and the only tongue scrubbers that we use. So this is a photo of me and babe um, at the beach. I thought this would be really cute to put in a bathroom. I just thought it was so cute to put in this black frame. Here are the black towels that I'm going to hang up. I don't know how I'm gonna put it together, y'all, but yeah. These are the towels that I'm gonna be using. So I had the towels a different way at first, but I just changed it like this. This just looked a little bit better than how I had it at first. I wish I could show y'all, but um, it's simple. I'm not really a good towel decorator person, so I think this is fine. Please ignore these rugs. Um, I'm gonna get like a black runner that to go all the way down here. And I think it's gonna make it look a lot more luxurious in a way. And let me know what you guys think. I love the black. The black is like such a cute color. I do feel that I can add a little bit more green up in here to make the black pop more. But I don't know. Drop a comment, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys even like this. It's literally just a shower, but now it has a curtain drop a comment and let me know if you guys like it huh happy new year, happy new year? Yes. <laughs> what's this he got me something for new year's you guys let's see oh <laughs> he got me some cars thank you baby a remote too yes. is it your your bedroom remote Okay, he got me another car. Thank you, baby. Let me see. Uh-oh, I hope it doesn't fall. Huh? You wrapped it in a blink? Oh, he got me his remote. It's a remote too. And you got me all of these matching cars. Look, y'all. I'm surprised you didn't bring mommy dinosaurs. Wow. Y'all, are these cool or what? These are cool. I love it. Thank you, mommy, baby. Give me a kiss. Give mommy a big old kiss. Come here. Which one is you? Come here. Mommy, mommy, doing her hair right now. Did you just belt? No. Yes, you did. I just. Excuse you. What do you say? Burp. You burp, but you say excuse me. Say excuse me. Look at me. Excuse me. Yeah, say excuse me when you burn. Don't stop. Leave my hand on. <laughs> I'm so pretty? Yes. I cute? Yes. Look at me. You love me? Yes. I love you too. Don't do that. Stop. You're messing it up. <laughs> okay, go blow your toys. Mommy, mommy finishing her hair up, okay? Oh, oh, it did turn. It's reflecting off of the light. I see, baby. Um, because normally I have to do the girls hair when they get home. Um, so I can tie their hair up and stuff. So if I can get mine out of the way early, then I can focus on everybody else. So that's another thing I'm learning too. Is if I take care of myself first, then everybody else be good. Huh, baby? Yeah. Um, mommy bringing you to the park tomorrow. It's raining outside today, so we're not going. That's why we're not going to the park today. But we're gonna go to the park tomorrow, okay? It's gonna stop. Or in raining. the backyard, huh? It's gonna stop raining. It, did it stop raining? I don't know. Go look out your window. Look me. Huh, baby? I'm everybody. You want everybody to play with you? No, clean with You want everybody to clean with you? No, yes, mommy will help you, but I'm saying you're gonna have to start. Cleaning by yourself too, okay? okay? Because when you become a big man and you get your family and stuff, you're gonna have to know how to take care of your own house. One, you probably two, like, Mommy, I'm not thinking about that right now. One, two, three. Yeah, I'll play with KJ for like an hour, like just me 
mommy and son time i meant to say it'll be mommy and son time for like an hour and i'll say kj okay mommy needs to go do some work i need to edit i need to respond to email something and he'll come back mommy are you gonna play dinosaurs with me he doesn't get upset when i say no but i don't like saying no i like just telling him you know just give mommy a second you know you was mad downstairs yes why what happened Oh, I'm about to say, I know you got mad at me. You you hurt your leg? So he hurt his leg. Okay. Okay. It's better now? Yes. Okay, that's good, baby. Um, So I started telling my kids no at an early age because I don't want them feeling like they're going to always hear the word yes all the time. They're not. I've got many no's in my lifetime, and it doesn't bother me. Some kids cannot stand the word no. They'll probably cry and break down. It's the hot curler, dude. My kids are used to hearing the word no. No, KJ. No, Melanie. No, Malayan. And they'll say, okay. And they'll just smile and just walk away. So it doesn't always... It doesn't... It's not like a bad thing to them when they hear it, if that makes sense. So I think it's important for kids to hear the word no. You know, sometimes. Not saying you gotta tell your baby no all the time, but I give them what they want, but not all the time. Girls, for the girls. What we thinking? What we thinking? How does it look? Because I can't see back there. Y'all can see, but I can't. So, okay. I'm done. My hair. Anytime I'm doing my hair, y'all, I have to rewash my hands because um, my face just breaks out so easily. I found out last year that I had eczema. And I never even thought about going to the dermatologist to find out because... I had a problem like scratching my skin and the thing that didn't help it was I take a lot of hot 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 showers so um not that hot I'm over exaggerating but I would take hot showers and I wouldn't put as much moisturizer on my skin as I needed so my skin would still kind of be dry and then it will cause my skin to um be super dry it will cause me to break out, start scratching, bam, the dark spots start to come. So I'm very careful. I wash my hands like every 20 minutes, but I normally get the eczema on my hands. I was getting it on this eyelid here. I was getting it around my mouth area at first, like here. Where else? Oh, it was on the back of my neck. You guys probably can't even tell, but... It was on the back of my neck here. It was really, really bad. But I found a great dermatologist and she prescribed me with some really good cream um, for my face. And I just told myself, I just need to stay out of my face in general. I don't think anybody. Huh? Not right now, baby. No, no, not right now. Okay? Not right now. No. Okay? Okay, go ahead, baby. Go pull your dinosaurs. Not right now. Don't ask mommy again. I told you to wait for daddy. Um, and so, even here. So, I had hyperpigmentation really bad on my face. I had it here. I had it around my eyes. Um, where else? I even had it, like, um, see, I was scratching right here. I'm, I got, like, some scars right there it's clearing up it was worse because i'm putting my cream on there but um i also had a bump here one two three i don't know where it come, i don't know where they come from but y'all see how my skin is just so clear on one side and it was clear over here but i decided to play in my face and pop 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 and now i got um this spot right here it's clearing up more it's clearing up because i've been um taking care of it but I was so mad because my skin was just flawless. The hyperpigmentation was cleared up. I had it like it was dark around my eyes. If I can find a photo, I will insert it. Or you can even go look at some of me and my husband's older videos. You guys will be able to tell like the dark spots. I mean, I had dark, it was dark around my eyelids and it was dark like here. And everything else was just like, you know, this color. But um, I said, I need to stay out of my face because my skin um, is starting to glow and then boom, this pops up. But it's okay, it's going away. Um, I'm not insecure about it. I'm just happy that 
I found a really good dermatologist, you know, to go to to help me keep my skin looking flawless, you know? I'm so frustrated because I took a shower and now the back of my bonnet is like soaked in water and it wet my hair a little bit in the back. <laughs> I'm so mad. I hate when it happens. I was gonna use Milan's little unicorn um, bonnet, but I couldn't find it. So I had bought her a pack of, you know what? I'm always buying my kids the things that I need to, instead of just buying myself some too. Like I bought them both a pack of shower caps. They got like these unicorn shower caps, but I didn't get myself that. And I'm like, why would you do that? Okay, so here's the set. I wanted to show y'all what it looks like. So Mommy. cute. Yeah. I want to take a bath first. Okay. So this is the set. This is um, like a clock It is, baby. Yes. Go take your clothes off. Put it in the shower. I mean, put it in a dirty hamper. Um, I got this from Shein. I have another set from Amazon. I just have to find it. Because um, Amazon has some really cute, like, lingerie sets. But, I mean, lounge sets. So cute. It has, like, the um, black trimming around the ankle part so comfy i think i have a size small and i still have so much room in it so so comfortable i'm gonna do a lounge haul one day but i took my shower this is the um i know i told y'all told y'all earlier about my eczema and stuff but this is some of the daily moisturizing cream that i use by cerave this is all i wear i used to wear like scented lotions and stuff but not no more i used to but my skin is just real sensitive to certain stuff y'all know how they have those people that could just wear anything and their skin just won't break out they can use any kind of soaps and stuff like i can't i'm my skin is just too sensitive literally for everything um so i just try to stick to one what's it called one like brand and while i'm at it I stopped at the store to grab me a pregnancy test. I, I only grab a pregnancy test because my period is late. Before I take this test, before I take this test, I'm gonna tell y'all now. I want my husband to get a vasectomy, okay? I want him to get a vasectomy only because he doesn't want me to get my tubes tied. I try getting my tubes tied, but he feels like, no, that's a little bit too much because you know, you did that. I'm gonna get the vasectomy, but your boy is taking too long. And I don't wanna be doing this once a month, okay? I don't wanna be doing this. No shade to anybody who have more than one, two, three, how many kids. It's just not for me. Like I can't, KJ did it for me, okay? KJ, and he was a breastfed baby. KJ did it for me. And um, he's not a bad child or anything like that. None of my kids or like bad children, they're well behaved in public. I think it's just the amount of responsibility, you know, it takes to have a lot of kids. So I'm gonna take this test real quick and I'm gonna be right back. <sighs> we good y'all. Cause I almost had a little mini heart attack. KJ, we good. You the last baby, okay? All right? Okay, I love you. It's negative. Oh, oh, it's negative. Okay. So the kids went outside for a little bit with daddy. Can y'all see me good? Uh-oh. Don't, what KJ, go take your clothes off. So um, the kids have free dress, well had free dress all this week and they're wearing pink. So I need to pull their clothes out for school tomorrow. It's gonna be cold tomorrow. I think it's gonna be like 60. Oh yeah, you can wear this. I, she, she wore this for Valentine's Day. So I think I'm gonna just let her put this back on because maybe she wore it one time with these little jeans that I got from Shein. Baby, y'all don't sleep on Shein. They have some really good quality clothes and I washed it. Oh no, I'm sorry. This from Shein and the quality is still good. It hasn't shrunk or anything. This is Target, sorry, this is Target. But I'm gonna find her a cute little cami to go with it and bam, call it a day. And she got these shoes. Y'all, let me tell y'all, Mel, I bought these shoes for Melanie a year ago and she wore it one time. Um, if she can't fit it still, I'm gonna give it to my line. Cause baby, who about to waste a new pair of shoes when you got a little sister, right? 
So yeah, I'm gonna probably give these to Milan. I literally bought these a year ago, y'all. And she wore it once and it's just been sitting in the closet. Okay, so we got male school clothes ready. Man, when you done, let me put your bonnet on your head. Milan wore this too. This is from Shein too. She wore this one time, y'all. One time. And never again. She have some little pink leggings to match. I'm gonna put a cami on her too. And baby, I'm gonna call it a day. And she got this pink shirt I could put on with it. Or her little, um, I got her some little stockings. I'm sorry, I said leggings, I meant stockings. So she could wear that pink tomorrow. Milan likes pink and purple. Melanie, she just likes pink. Milan likes purple and pink, but I ain't never buy her no purple clothes before. So y'all know I'm frustrated, right? And this all goes back to me saying, I can't have no more kids because I need to cook dinner, but the house is filthy. The kitchen is filthy. And this is the reason why I feel like we need to hire another housekeeper because baby, she was coming every two weeks. My husband was like, we can do it, we can do it. But who doing it? <laughs> but what I was gonna say, y'all, they like, I'm still in the process of teaching them how to clean up after themselves, so. You need a lot of patience being a parent. So if I can give anybody out there advice, when y'all say, oh, my, you have another baby. Oh, I want some kids. I can't wait. Baby, be prepared for the house to be towed up. And if you can afford a housekeeper, do it, okay? Because, baby, I'm this close to getting somebody to start back cleaning up with me because it's so much work. So I'm going to be back. I, I got to clean up because I can't clean. I can't cook. In a dirty kitchen it's like a huge it's like a big pet peeve for me to cook in a dirty kitchen it's just very icky it's disgusting and i just don't want to do it had a missed call from my mama and my daddy they both literally called me at the same time i just called out telling y'all good night okay good night all right i love y'all love you too all right my mama back because she called me she probably like oh she didn't answer the phone i called her girl you can answer the phone yeah my kids i'm gonna do some air fried wings i mean i love air fried wings yeah it's just air fried chicken in general my husband bought a new one, so that one has been getting used a whole lot. Milan, why are you screaming? Baby, what is the, the point of screaming if you're not in danger? Use your inside voice if nothing's wrong. So I'm almost back to game. I'm air frying some wings. These are so good. Yeah, it's about to be busting. So it's time for me to end this vlog because it's getting late and I need to finish cooking so I can feed the kids because it is a school night. But I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to see you on my next video.